Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, browsing the Mayleaf Tea House and tasting a Da Hong Pao. In this video, I'm going to give you a private tour of the Mayleaf Tea House and then we're going to taste a freshly arrived Da Hong Pao. This video is going to go under the single tea tastings and the tea house playlists. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then please give the video a thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more tea videos are going to come your way. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then go click that button. It is after hours, we have just shut shop. We're in the Mayleaf Tea House. It's been a long day, hence my exhaustion on my face. But I wanted to give you a little tour of the tea house so you get to see what the tea house looks like in case you haven't visited before and to show you some of the products that we have here, give you a little private shopping experience. So follow me. This is the bar, obviously, you are behind the bar. If uh, Celine, you wanna do a little pan around, you can see the the tea house you can see that we've got quite a lot of restocking to do on the shelves but that's okay if you look behind you you can see the nice uh, picture up here all of our teas this is where all of the magic happens okay so it's Christmas Christmas is coming um, and I hope that you're not gonna have a too stressful shopping experience let me show you some things that we've just got fresh in and I'll put uh, links in the descriptions below in case you see anything that you like. We've got some nice little cute baubles here. These contain scented, uh, our Christmas blended tea. So it's a, uh, black tea mixed with uh, orange peel and cinnamon, um, all natural, nothing artificial, obviously, as you'd expect. So that's our Christmas blend and these can hang on the tree. It's quite nice. We have our tea towers here. So these are stackable tins, each containing a separate tea. Um, and we've got different selections here. We've got Discovery, Sensation, our Rare Finds, which has a yellow tea and a ruby tea, and a classic. We've got bundles here as well. And these are our blended teas here. These are our signature blended tea. So there's the Christmas one. Unfortunately, there's no smell of vision Otherwise, I could uh, let you have a sniff of this. So we've got a whole range, not too big. You know how I feel about scented tea, so it's not massive selection, but we spent many, many months perfecting this. So these are our signature blends. This is a herbal one. You've got a lot here. And um, yeah, we've taken a lot of time to do this. Our failure rate on the blends is something like 90%. So we threw away 90% of what we created, and these are the ones that were left behind. So really nice blended teas. Down here, we have our box selections. So these are our uh, magnetic boxes with our selections of tea. So those of you who want to do a tasting and just want uh, to taste a few different teas, we've got those. You can see quite a few here. There's one big one that's missing called the Tea Master selection, which sold out today, but we'll get that back very soon. Okay, follow me over here. These are new in. Finally, we have some matcha bowls. Um, and we've got a blue one and a red one. You can see here, nice large area so you can get your whisk in and get a lot of good whisking action here and develop that crema on the matcha. Nicer curved uh, ridges for you to, to drink from. And uh, so those are our blue and our red. We've got the 100 prong handmade whisk here. We've got chashakus, so everything you need for the matcha experience. And if you want, you can buy the set here. So this is, again, a magnetic box that contains everything you need. Your matcha, your bowl, red or blue, your chashaku here, and your whisk. All right. Moving on over here. You all know by now our Gong Fu Guru, of course. So this is the signature uh, tea set that we've created. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link in the description below so you can watch the videos that we've done on the Gong Fu Guru. This is our um, real um, signature set that we've created for Elite Tea Gong Fu Brewing. And if you don't want to pick up the set, but you just want teaware, we have you covered. We've got the Gaiwans here, glass and porcelain. We have uh, nice Gong Fu size glass teapots. Of course, the absolutely gorgeous 
Yuxin clay pot, the essential strainers. Then we've got our Gongda bays. We've got the hammered glass Gongda bay here, which we're going to be using today. We've got the Ruyao porcelain Gongda bay that picks up the pigment in the tea and actually starts to stain the Gongda bay. And we've got this really nice square glass Gongda bay, which I really like. Once you've got your teapots and your Gongda bays, we've got the cups. So the ubiquitous double walled small cup and we've got a double walled large cup and you may not think that that is suitable for gongfu brewing but actually i really like this you fill up to about here and then you've got a lot of area to stick your nose in and really smell the tea so it's quite nice to to have a larger volume and then we've obviously got the matching ruyao porcelain cup here that again will pick up the pigment in the tea and start to stain and you'll start to see this lovely crackle effect on the glaze some nice coasters lotus root coasters you've got your pick here sandalwood pua pick for all your cake breaking needs and if you want to brew gongfu style at your desk then we have the gong uh, the connoisseur tea brewer which allows you to brew in the top push the button and it decants into the bottom a small brewing chamber so you can do gongfu brewing really really simple no excuses for not doing gongfu brewing tea inspection trays here which are just in which are really nice as well some accessories here we have our stackable tins which are just really really useful essential way of storing tea so you can stack the teas you can have lots of teas in a small area over here is our homage to gushu so you know how much i love gushu and this is our uh, display for gushu we've got the sacred owl which is our thousand year ripe gushu we've got the dino collection the dinosaur gushu collection here bloom buster cone bandit and pip killer and of course we have tiger spirit our bing dao 1000 to 1600 if you want to buy it in a set we've got you covered as well so this is the dinosaur gushu collection you've got your tea inspection tray really really essential for for making mess free um pua and your three cakes and the sandalwood pick here we've also got the set as a tiger spirit as well over here we've got a bit more glass teaware oh sorry not tiger spirit sacred owl i'm going mad it's been a long day over here we have our glassware for if you don't want gong fu brewing this is a slightly larger pot and an even larger pot for family size and we've also got mugs here that all have their separate infusers so you can infuse at your desk very very simple if you just want a simple mug of tea we've got some cast iron ware here as well so cast iron teapots and Finally, we have back in stock, Jade Star. So Jade Star is back in stock. I know a lot of you out there were um, asking when this is coming back in stock. It's just arrived. So this is our aged white tea to bring you into dreamland. Okay, I think that the tour is over. Uh, you're welcome to visit us, of course, but let's go over here and, oh, quickly. Thank you very much for this, for all of those of you who voted. Okay, so if you follow me, this is our tea selection. Obviously, as I said, a lot is out of stock, but um, it will be restocked um, in the morning and we'll have full shelves again. So these are all of our teas. This is our little tea museum here. So lots of information. We've got some videos as well of our filming down there. This one's actually not been released on YouTube, so I've got to get that one up at some point. So those are, all, those are all our teas, and if you come and visit us, then you can sit over here and drink tea at our tea house. Back at the back there, that's where our clinical activity happens, so that's Acumedic Clinic, and you can see here, this is our herbal dispensary. We've got over 250 different herbs here so we don't just source tea but we also source Chinese herbs we've got 250 different herbs here for treating patients okay now it definitely is enough let's taste some Da Hong Pao so 
Who's behind the camera? It's Celine. So Celine is gonna put this down here and I'm gonna sit here. Maybe you can pull the screen around. I should. Let's see if my phone is working. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna have to be without remote. Okay, let's see. This should be, it should be okay. It should be okay. Hopefully we're in focus. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so, say hello. hello. <laughs> you, you're exhausted now, right? Yeah, a little bit. A long day. Okay, at work. why isn't this working? Let's see. Am I in, are we in focus? I guess that's the only question. I Do you want to so. hit that screen and see if we're in focus? And we're not going to change focus, just... Oh. Uh. Oh. Maybe just push the button up there. Sorry about this, guys. Never done this before. What do you mean? Yeah, let's just... just that? Yeah, that should be okay. Yeah. Should be in focus, I hope. Maybe just push this, the, the button over there. Wait, this no, one? No, 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 the, no. The focus button. And I'll put my face in here. Just make sure it's in focus. Okay. That should be fine. All right, so we've got Da Hong Pao here. Da Hong Pao oh, is one of the most um, well-known teas, well-known for various different reasons, well-known for being very expensive um, and for being one of the more expensive teas, well-known because it's a lovely tea, but um, also one of the most hard-pushed tea by the sellers. Mm. And Da Hong Pao is one of those teas, isn't it? Yeah. There, there are so many Da Hong <laughs> so Pao's out there and so many disappoint. I'm sure that those of you who have gone on the Da Hong Pao journey and tried to find good Da Hong Pao would uh, concur that, well, a lot of it just tastes like cardboardy and not yeah. very nice. I mean, you still get a bit of chocolate, but it's usually a bit cardboardy and yeah, not, not. Or it gives you a really nice smell, but as soon as you pour water, yeah. it's just like it's not there. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that easy to find good Da Hong Pao. Um, and um, we're really happy with this batch that has just arrived. It's just fresh in stock. Um, so I thought we'd do a quick tasting. I know we've done a tour, so we can't speak too long, but we'll do a quick tasting. So let's scope the tea. This is a spring 2015 tea, not 2016. And I like to pick teas that are older because we want the roast, the charcoal roast that they do mm. to die down and we want to taste the tea and not just charcoal. So um, it's a spring 2015 tea. This is from the Da Hong Pao cultivar. Now that's a very controversial and I'm gonna be doing another video on the cultivars or the varieties for Da Hong Pao and for Wu Yi Rock Oolongs very soon. But let's just take it as a Da Hong Pao cultivar um, plant. The um, Origin of this is Banyan, and that's Wu Yi, and that's in Fujian province. So there are basically a few areas. There's Zhengyan. Zhengyan is the really well known rock oolong heartland. It's a very protected area, mm -hmm. and that is supposedly where the best Da Hong Pao comes from. And then just on the outskirts of that is Banyan, and this is Banyan tea. Now, Zhengyan tea, it's like Longjing, mm. you know, Longjing tea, really, there's some really sacred areas that the best Longjing is meant to come from. But actually, when you start to taste it blind in those areas, mm. you'll find that there are some amazing, amazing, amazing yeah. uh, Zhengyan <clears throat> Da Hong Pao's, and probably the best of the best Da Hong Pao's still come from Zhengyan, but 80% of the Zhengyan Da Hong Pao's are not as good yeah. as some of the teas, the top teas from Banya. Oh. So basically what I'm saying is a lot of traders trade off the name Zheng Yan, yeah. but if I compare this tea to say 70 to 80% of the Zheng Yans out there that I've tasted, mm -hmm. I would say that this is better. And certainly in terms of the price to taste ratio, this is a lot better. So it's not from mm. the heartland of, you know, the, 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 the place where everyone is talking about is the most renowned area for, for Da Hong Pao, but it's just around the outside and I think it's better than at least 60 to 70% of 
the Zhengyan um, teas and certainly about 80% of the Zhengyan teas that I've tasted. Ah, oh, okay? interesting. Um, its picking is larger leaves, so this is up to the third or fourth leaf, and the um, altitude or elevation on scope is about 600 to 700 meters. Mm. Okay, do you want to brew some up? Oh, please. For us? Do you want to heat this up first? So we're using the Yixing pot. Yes. Do you want to heat oh, it up first? Sorry. Let's just, because it's quite cold in London, it's winter. Very cold. Yeah, it's really, really cold here. So we just need to heat up all the teaware. I have something in the region of eight grams of the uh, Dahong Kao here, so a lot. But we are going to be brewing uh, Gong Fu style and we're planning to have quite a few infusions of this even after the camera is switched off. Thank goodness. I actually haven't tasted that one. When did it come in? It only came in a, a week ago. Oh, so, so definitely yeah, you haven't tasted this yet, Cute. so that's good. I haven't tasted it since selecting it. So did you select them with the other ones that you were talking about? Yeah. Ah. So we've basically been on a rock oolong mission um, in September sometime. For those of you who follow our Instagram, you may have seen us taking pictures of lots of rock oolongs. I must have sampled in the region of about twenty or thirty uh, rock oolongs. Uh, have a sniff of that. Yeah. I can already smell it. Just... See what you smell. Wow. It's so really... I really hope I'm in focus. Chocolatey. Chocolatey? Caramelly. Mmm, yes. kind of fruity a bit. Oh, wow. It smells so good. It doesn't I smell get... like a lot of Dahong Pao that I've just smelled. Well, this is it. So. Da Hong Pao, normally when you stick your nose and you mm. smell charcoal, yeah. right? But that's because it's, it's probably because it's quite young. Mm. That's why you need to let it settle, let it settle yeah. down. Now I smell butterscotch, nougat, I smell some red fruits, some like red oh berries, that little red berry sourness. Okay, let's, let's brew that's it up. Good. I'm conscious of how long this video is. We're already Sorry, 17 guys. minutes in. <laughs> let me just rinse that out. I knew this was a bit ambitious to try and fit this all in one video. Um, it reminds me of um, Milan Xian Dan song when they roast it, like when it's freshly roasted. It's really strong and like, kind of roastedness. Yeah. But then when you let it, like you say, when it, like after a while, after a few, I don't know, months or something, it starts to well, die down. Well, usually you want to you want to leave it till the next year. In my opinion, if you if you get rock oolongs, I would say either the next year or at the end of the year. So probably the spring 2016 mm. teas are okay, just about okay now, but probably still have a little bit of that fire, that the roast fire. in them. Mm. So leave it about 20 seconds. I like to leave the strip oolongs yeah. a little bit longer. I don't, know, I, I don't know about you, but I find that the larger leaves, because they're larger, they, they can be brewed a little bit longer without having any issues with, with the Or is it the fact that they've been roasted, so therefore the flavor comes out a bit? I think it's a combination of the two, actually. Mm. <laughs> I think you're right, look at the color. Holy moly. So, as I said, a lot of people have tasted a Da Hong Pao. Most people who've, mm. who have been on the tea journey or are on the tea journey have sampled Da Hong Pao's. And I'm gonna guess that many, many of them have been disappointed. Yeah. I mean, it's quite common that you, because you hear so much good stuff about Da Hong Pao, but it's very difficult to find one that meets the right grade. Look at that color. That it's is like, stunning. It's ruby red. It's beautiful, isn't it? I don't yeah. know how to describe that, and I wish I could bring it close. I'll bring it close, but I can't focus it, I'm afraid. So at least you can see the colour, even if it's a blurred colour. It's like peach iced tea, isn't it? It's beautiful. <laughs> I've got to stop drink. saying the word beautiful. I realise, looking back at my What's videos... What's wrong with beautiful? I just use the word beautiful way too much. So that's it. We have a... <laughs> we have a There's nothing wrong with the word beautiful. It's against the law to use the word beautiful. Okay, let's uh, taste this. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, okay. Um, it's much fruitier mm. than what yeah. I'm used to. What kind of fruit? Mm. Like a dark berry kind of fruits. 
I don't know. Dark berries. Yeah, I get berries, definitely. Mm. So, what I like in a Dahong Pao is, first of all, the roast, as I said, to not be too strong. So not, I mean, even if it's strongly roasted, for the taste of charcoal to not be too strong. Because then what it allows is for the flavor of fruitiness. Yeah. And then the caramelly... Some talk about chocolate, but I get more... It's true, it's more I, caramel. I get more caramel and yeah, butterscotch yeah. And, and those kind of nutty nougars, you know, hazelnut yeah. nougar. I agree with that. Kind of taste. That's why I got a bit surprised because I'm usually, I mean, you're used to Empress, well, sorry, that Hong Pao being a bit more, yeah, like chocolatey and dark roasted, whereas this one's more fruits and then caramel going around mm. the corner. Because it's it. allowed, the, 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 the charcoal has died down, you're now tasting the quality of the leaf. And, and if, you, mm. if you don't do that, if you taste it too early, you're tasting the charcoal, you're not tasting the quality of the leaf. And this has a really good quality about it. It's got a Yummy. lovely balance, it's got the caramel at the beginning, and then it moves to like a little red currant and berry kind of sweetness. Um, not sweetness, uh, fruitiness. In, in, in fact, a little sourness. Yeah. Tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. A bit like. Oh, um, smell the cup. I smell the empty cup. Wow, mm. it's like raspberries. And vanilla. Raspberries and vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> it is raspberries and vanilla. And a yeah, little that's bit, that kind A little of... bit whiskey, a little bit whiskey wood as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's so nice. Mm. So. Oh. I love smelling the empty cup. When you smell the empty cup, so the different like stages of tasting, and I'm going to do a video on this as well, but the different stages of tasting is mm. how, it's amazing how the, the dry leaf, the wet leaf, the taste, and the smell of the empty cup all reveal slightly different things about the tea. Mm. So this now... It's a bit creamy, you know? See, now I'm smelling, I, I can smell mm. more of the charcoal here in the wet leaf. Oh, that's really weird. It smells completely different yeah. to the taste. Isn't it? It's crazy. It's just such a strange thing. Tea always surprises me because there's so many different types out there and then you get one type and you try loads of different ones from that one type and it's different, isn't it? Yeah. And so interesting. Hallelujah, otherwise I'd be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> Because if, if they it's all true. tasted good, then there would be no need for me. For your taste buds. Um, God, so yeah, that's really good. Like the wet leaf tastes, uh, smells a little bit more charcoal. You're picking up more of the charcoal and I get more woodiness. It's more kind of of the darker nature, like yeah. woodier. You're still getting that fruitiness, like, but more like a kind of cranberry or something, but just, yeah, just, just on the edge. But then the taste. Yeah is more like you're getting the wood but like yeah. whiskey wood caramel butterscotch moving yeah. into slight fruitiness and then the empty cup wow that's where the fruit really comes out you're getting that real raspberry raspberry whiskey vanilla sounds nice no yeah yeah it is it is really really good the whiskey when you said whiskey it really like hit me like yeah, that whiskey sweetness, mm. you know that. Yeah, not not like when you not drink whiskey, it, yeah. but when you, well, actually, when you're smelling a cup yeah. of empty, really good whiskey. No, like, I'm not talking about you know, crappy whiskey. Yeah, and you smell the empty cup of the whiskey. Yeah, and it like, that's has it. that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it changed again. More minerals now. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> More rocky. So this is a rock oolong, we rock oolong, and you Makes want sense. that minerality. Yeah. And now second infusion, getting the minerality. It's just got a little bit more of that kind of cutting dryness mm. to it, and that that quench, mm. and that rockiness, that that lovely rockiness. What's interesting is I usually I find that when you first do the first infusion, it actually goes to that taste. Whereas this yeah. one, yeah, 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 the exactly. first second ones are just <clears throat> fruity and vanilla. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Though. That's really true, actually. Like so, for mm. for, for lower quality Dahong Pals, 
what you get is a hit of charcoal mm. and then really dry minerality. Yeah. That's what I mean by cardboardiness. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Kind of, it it's sense, not yeah. got that round aroma, uh, aroma, that aromatic kind of caramelly, mm. fruity. Mm. And yet you read lots of people's descriptions about it and it's chocolate and, yeah, yeah. and, and berries. And, and then you taste it and it's like charcoal and cardboard and rocks, <laughs> you know, which is okay, but yeah. it's not really what you're after. Yeah. That's, that's really a... Uh... Mm. Mm. So the minerality is there. I wish I could bring it in and focus, but this is not working. Do you want me to help? My phone isn't working. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on, see if you can, yeah, see if you can now focus. Boom. Is it? It's not gone green. No, it, oops. And yeah, it's, it's focused. Is it? Okay, yeah. so you can see how dark and oily and glossy and large the leaves are. Can you hold it? Are you? I got it, I got it. Even though it's hot. <laughs> okay, focus back on me. ka -ching. Are we back? You're okay, back. Okay, good. That's the, that's the real <laughs> primitive way of doing things. So, last sip of this and then yeah. we're going to bid farewell to everyone because now we've taken up 30 minutes of their time. It's nice to try a new tea though again. I'm really happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm happy, to, I'm really excited to now sit and do a proper whole taste exploration on it. And relaxing. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> I'm already starting to get a little bit of the sweats. You know, it's warming. It's it really is warming. very warming, it's actually. Very warming tea. Mmm. Mmm. Really. So, in my opinion, mm. this is the definition of a good Da Hong Pao. It's yeah. got everything that I want in a Da Hong Pao. We tasted a lot. Um, and I think that this is a really, really good rendition. Banyan, mm. Zhengyan, whatever, we taste blind. This one <laughs> is, is a good one. <laughs> Final thoughts on it? I was just wondering, what's the body sensation going to be like on it? I don't know. In my experience yeah. with these teas, it's not super rushy. It's not like yeah. a pua. It's going to be warming mm. and quite calming, like a good whiskey. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see indeed. All right. Thanks for watching. That's it, tea heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then please give the video the thumbs up. Check out our YouTube playlist and let us know if there are any videos that you would like us to make. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden here at the Mayleaf Tea House. Say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions or comments, then please fire them over. Other than that, this is Celine. I'm Don from Mayleaf. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from the tea bags. Keep drinking the good stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye. Bye.